hello and welcome to first class in the series in a long series of problem solving techniques these problem solving techniques are some of the very special tricks which we will be going to use when and during the course of various videos these tricks will be employed in solving different kinds of special equation problems so let's get started quickly so the problem which i have taken to start with is a level 1 problem in the assignment the same assignment whose link is given here that is https backwack uh, dl.dropbox.com so on and so forth so you can download the assignment from this link and get an access to these problems the key and solutions to these to these problems are also given in the following link So this is problem number seven in level one of that assignment. So let's see what the problem says. The owner of a local jewelry store hired three watchmen to guard his diamonds very well, but a thief still got in and stole some diamonds. On the way out, the thief met each watchman one at a time. To each, he gave half of the diamonds he had then, and two more besides. he escaped with one diamond how many did he steal originally so we have to find that actually how many diamonds did thief steal to start with that is before giving any of the diamonds to the watchman so as discussed in one of the previous videos we will take the unknown says x so unknown out here is number of diamonds stolen so that is the only unknown out here now proceeding ahead as done in the last problem i mean the last video which we solved i will see what operations have been performed on this unknown so first operation performed on this unknown was that half of it that is x by 2 and 2 on top of it that is x by 2 plus 2 was given away was given away so now if i plot a line and track the events on a line to understand better then i would find that first event which happened was when thief met first watchman this is first watchman so when thief met first watchman he gave away x by 2 plus 2 diamonds so diamonds remaining were x minus x by 2 plus 2 which in turn would be x by 2 minus 2 which in turn would be x minus 4 by 2 so after he met first watchman diamonds remaining were x minus 4 by 2 now same thing happened with the second watchman as well that whatever diamonds he had that is x minus 4 by 2 he gave away half of it that is x minus 4 by 2 by 2 and plus 2 on top of that as a result diamond remaining with him were x minus 4 by 2 that is original number of diamonds minus x minus 4 by 2 whole by 2 plus 2 which will give x minus 4 by 2 whole by 2 minus 2 which is equal to x minus 4 by 4 minus 2 which is equal to x minus 4 minus 8 by 4 which is then equal to x minus 12 by 4 
सो आफ्टर ही मेट सेकेंड वॉचमैन सेकेंड वॉचमैन द डायमंड्स विद हिम वर एक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व बाय फोर नाउ वेन ही मीट्स थर्ड वॉचमैन ही वंस अगेन गिव्स अवे वॉट एवर ही हैड दैट इज हाफ ऑफ इट एंड टू ऑन टॉप ऑफ इट सो रिमेनिंग डायमंड्स ही हैज नाउ इज एक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व बाय फोर माइनस एक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व बाय फोर बाय टू प्लस टू विच विल गिव हिम एक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व बाय एट माइनस टू विच इज देन इक्वल टू माइनस ट्वेंटी एट बाई एट सो दिस इज आफ्टर ही मेट थर्ड वॉचमैन एंड दिस क्वांटिटी इज इक्वल टू वन बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली ही एस्केप विद वन डायमंड दिस वुड गिव x minus twenty eight equal to eight, which is x equal to thirty six. Now, if you see, this is pretty fine solution, but then the problem with this solution is that it is very lengthy. Now, let's come to a shortcut method to solve this problem. Now. for finding a shortcut method i realized that the previous method was long because all the operations which we were performing were on an unknown entity that is x we started with an unknown entity but as the topic of this this particular class says known to known i would be better off performing operations on a known quantity so let's try to solve this again this time trying to perform operations on a known quantity so known quantity in my case here is that when the thief met third watchman and left he had one diamond left with him so instead of starting with x and first watchman second watchman i am starting with third watchman he had one item left with him now if he had one item left with third watchman let's try to find out what was the item left with him after he met second watchman let's call this as x this time because this is not known remember this is known that after he had met third watchman he was left with just one watch one diamond so before he met third watchman or after he met second watchman let's assume he had x now out of these x he gave away x by 2 and 2 on top of that as a result he was left with x minus x by 2 plus 2 which is equal to x by 2 minus 2 diamonds and these diamonds since he gave away to third watchman after that he was left with one diamond so so in this case x by 2 equal to 3 and x equal to 6 so we can conclude that after he left the second watchman he had six diamonds on similar lines i can further trace that how many diamonds did he have after he left the first watchman or before he met second watchman let's call it x once again half of them he gave away to second watchman and two on top of that and ultimately was left with six 
This leads me to x by 2 minus 2 equal to 6, which will ultimately give x equal to 16. So 16 was the number of diamonds after he met the first watchman. Now, before first watchman, before first watchman, let's assume again that he had x diamonds out of which he gave away x by 2 plus 2 which gave him x by 2 minus 2 again equal to 16 this will lead to x equal to 16 plus 2 into 2 which is equal to 36 so before first watchman he had 36 diamonds so this time I traced it from the back 1 after meeting the third watchman, 6 after meeting the second watchman, 16 after meeting, meeting the first watchman and 36 before meeting the first watchman. Now here in this case number of calculations and number of expressions were much smaller and much more manageable while the answer we got in both the cases was same. So this is what I meant when I said moving from known to known, known to known rather than moving from unknown to known. In previous case unknown was x, known was 1. This time known is 1 and we are moving to another known quantity that is 36. So since I have solved this question I would mark option B as my answer which is 36 and move on. So next question is my level 2 question in the assignment mentioned here and first question of level 2. Now this question I will not waste time by moving from unknown to known but will move from known to known. So I have drawn line in advance. Let's see what the question says. A shop stores x kg of rice. First customer buys half this amount plus half kg of rice. Second customer buys half the remaining amount plus half a kg of rice. Then the third customer also buys half the remaining amount plus half a kg of rice. Thereafter no rice is left in the shop. Which of the following best describes the value of x? So once again we have to find this value which was at the start of the shop. This value is x. We know that at the end, that is after third customer, quantity is zero because no rice left in the shop. That means what is the quantity left before third customer? Before third customer. Let's assume it was, I will not take it x because we have already a variable called x here. Let's take it y. So out of this y, half was purchased and on top of that 1 by 2 was also purchased by third customer. So before the third customer arrived, the quantity was y and out of that y by 2 plus half was purchased and in the end left was 0. That gives me y by 2 minus half equal to 0 which implies that y equal to 1. So before third customer my quantity was 1. Similarly I can calculate before second customer. Again assuming this as y, y minus y by 2 plus half because this much was given away to the second customer is equal to 1. This implies y by 2 minus half equal to 1 or y by 2 equal to 3 by 2 implies that y equal to 3. So we had 0 
वन एंड थ्री थ्री वॉज बिफोर सेकेंड कस्टमर सिमिलरली आई कैन फाइंड बिफोर फर्स्ट कस्टमर अगेन टेकिंग दिस इज वाई वाई माइनस वाई बाई टू प्लस हाफ गिवस मी थ्री विच विल गिव वाई बाय टू माइनस हाफ इक्वल टू थ्री विच विल गिव वाई बाय टू इक्वल टू सेवन बाय टू विच मीन्स वाई इक्वल टू सेवन सो बिफोर व फर्स्ट कस्टमर वाई इक्वल टू सेवन विच इज नथिंग बट एक्स देर फोर एक्स इक्वल टू सेवन के जी नो इफ आई लुक एट द ऑप्शन आई कैन सी दैट सेवन लाइज बिटवीन फाइव एंड एट एंड नो अदर ऑप्शन कंटेन्स सेवन दैट्स वाई आई विल मार्क ऑप्शन बी एंड मूव ऑन नो एज ए मूव ऑन टू द थर्ड प्रॉब्लम इन द इन दिस वीडियो third problem is basically a level 2 question again starting from 12 to 15 it is not a single question but a set of questions based on a data now instead of solving this problem myself in the video i would like you to solve it and the hint here is that again start with the known quantity that is at the end of fourth game each sister had rupees 32 and then try to proceed that what all amounts each of the sister had in the previous rounds or after the end of previous games fine so that's what this problem is about so i am leaving you to solve it if any problems you can mail to sorry you can mail to educator E D U C A T O R educator of yakt at the rate gmail dot com for your queries. Also, I would like to say that the three problems listed in this video are not the only problems where you can apply the known to known approach. there are other problems as well so i leave it to you to identify those problems and get back to me if you have any doubts so we will be continuing with more interesting problem solving techniques in our next videos in our immediately next video i will be coming up with the problems which are challenging in terms of calculation and will you give you tips around how to solve them effectively without wasting much of time so thank you very much see you in the next video goodbye